we're down to the reports of boards and committees. Health and Human Services Committee, Commissioner O'Neill, Chair. Thank you, Chair Crone. We have before us one item, the appointment uh, to the Heading Home St. Louis County 10-year plan to end homelessness uh, implementation team. I would move it forward. Support. And move, move by Commissioner O'Neill, support by Commissioner Sweeney. Questions? Commissioner Sweeney? Yes, um, I, I guess I would question why it has been here August 7th, August 14th, September 4th, when the most logical person for this job has been nominated for this job. Uh, but that person, in his infinite wisdom, has asked me if I would, um, because there can be an alternate, and has asked me if I would um, amend this, and I said that I would, um, and I would like to amend it to appoint Commissioner Rocker as the delegate and Commissioner O'Neill as the alternate. That's accepted by uh, maker of the motion. Any other discussion? Commissioner Nelson. Thank you, Chair Commissioner Crone. This is still on the board because the fact of the matter is, is that they didn't want it, no one wanted to talk about what it is. Every other committee that we have in St. Louis County, nearly every other committee has more than one commissioner on it. There's a reason why we have more than one commissioner on it. We rely on commissioners to report back the activities of the various boards that are out there it is impossible for any one of us to be at every event. It has gotten to the point in my schedule where I have to say, I missed that last month, I'll have to make it this month, and I'll miss it next month when I catch the other committee. And I know I'm not speaking for myself. I know that many other commissioners here feel that same pressure, that same um, problem on a daily basis as we look, look over our schedule. I have said since day one that this is a, a worthy plan, it's a worthy cause, but I really feel a need for fiscal accountability. Stating that, I asked Commissioner Rocker if he was interested some time back if he would be interested. He stated that his plate was plumb full. My plate is full also, but I'm willing to clear part of it to act in that capacity. But I want to act in that capacity with a fellow commissioner, not with an alternate. I believe St. Louis County is the fiscal agent on this. We have a great deal of responsibility for these dollars. Ultimately, if there are problems with how this plan is executed and with, with how these dollars are spent, ultimately that will come back to this board, like so many other things come here to roost. And I would only ask that this board show wisdom in this, appointing two commissioners. I would be willing to be the alternate for 60 days to allow for the city of Duluth to once again pass a motion on this, if that is necessary. But after the 60 days, that I would be a full member of this committee. I don't know how we do that. And I'm not going to play the game of semantics here. But this discussion, I think, is a very important one. I've had this conversation with Commissioner O'Neill, and I've had this conversation with Commissioner Rocker. I know Commissioner O'Neill and myself do not agree. I offer this up as a compromise, Commissioner. I would take the alternate role for 60 days to allow for action to take place so that two commissioners should be on this committee as we are on every other committee that I can think of. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Commissioner Nelson. Any other discussion? Commissioner O'Neill, Commissioner Rocker. 
Thank you, Chair Crone. Well, I appreciate your offer, Commissioner Nelson, but I, I think we've reached a, a fair and reasonable uh, compromise here. We will we'll have uh, Commissioner Rocker, and I really appreciate his willingness to serve on this uh, important committee. Um, the implementation team we voted on, as did the City Council of Duluth um, months ago, um, in that plan we had one representative. Um, if the board desires us to change that, we can do so in the future, but the, the first meeting is planned for September 14th, so I, I guess I would urge us to move ahead uh, with Commissioner Rocker as uh, the seated person and myself as the alternate. The implementation committee is important, but I, I don't foresee that there will be close votes. You know, I think largely this group will operate uh, by consensus or near consensus. Um, and, and I think this is, is a good solution um, to the issue in front of us. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner O'Neill. Commissioner Rocker. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. You know, I've known for a while that there's been some ongoing dialogue and debate about uh, this particular arrangement, and I did, in speaking to Commissioner O'Neill, indicate that I would consider uh, to keep the peace to volunteer for this. Uh, not that I need another uh, committee assignment in view that uh, as one of the Harding work, as hardest working commissioners, I have probably 16 c committee assignments, but uh, I'd stack that up to just about anybody. Uh, I, you know, I think there's some wisdom in what, uh, what uh, Commissioner uh, Nelson is saying, that in view of the importance this has to uh, St. Louis County and our role as the fiscal agent, that uh, I, I think there, there is wisdom in our having two commissioners on here, and I do recognize that it would take some time to get that accomplished. Uh, so I, I clearly think that what he's he has a keen interest in this. I have no doubt that uh, we need to have somebody on that committee to be a watchdog for the finances to ensure that there is some equity in the distribution of these monies because albeit this is a very, very important issue, it is involving a great deal of money and the fiscal accountability cannot be uh, uh, a blind eye turn to it's it's of ultimate importance because the work will not get done without those those revenue streams so uh, I'm just I, I'm withdrawing my uh, uh, my availability to serve in this capacity and I, I believe that what Commissioner Nelson is proposing affords both an opportunity for Commissioner O'Neill who has been engaged in this from a long for quite some time uh, to serve uh, since he has done a great deal of the groundwork up to this point and affords an opportunity for Commissioner Nelson to serve in an alternate capacity. Yes, you have to go back to some of these bodies and get approval, but you know what? That's the way it is sometimes. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Commissioner O'Neill. I will uh, withdraw my support of the friendly and I will take up uh, Commissioner Nelson as uh, serving as alternate. And, and we will uh, move forward to seek two members on this body. Two members of the St. Louis County Board on this body. 60 days. Well, you know, I don't know if it's going to happen in 60 days. So. We'll do it as fast as we can. Okay, thank you, Commissioner. And I'll Colonial. support that motion. Supported by Commissioner Sweeney. Any other discussion? Commissioner Fink. Mr. Chair, this is getting a little convoluted. The reality here is that we have seldom done anything where we have not had a North and South Commissioner on something that was Commissioner, that was commissioned <coughs> wide. I got to tell you, way back I said something to the effect that I thought there should be two commissioners, one from the north and one from the south. I think the distribution is, is right, somebody from the range and somebody from the city. And it just seems to me that, that if we make this appointment, when we make the appointments, that's it. Make the appointments. At the end of the year we'll have an opportunity to make the appointments again. If in fact the policy has not been adjusted to that, those who are members on there can tell us why and why we should only have one appointment and where it should come from. 
but i think in the at this particular moment you should just move forward with the appointments and and not talk about amendments and not talk about alternatives and our, our alternates just talk about we are appointing two people it's what we do to make sure we have complete representation and i would ask the, the maker of this to consider that as a friendly through the end of this year and then the next year's reappointments and then require that this be a, an annual appointment of the chair at the beginning of the uh, the year thank commissioner. you commissioner fink it is getting convoluted <laughs> commissioner o'neill commissioner o'neill well i i think you make some good points commissioner fink I, i'm not I'm not against that at all. I don't have control of the Duluth City Council. You know, we'll have to go to them. We'll have to ask them to amend the, the agreement. And I'm all for that. And we can do that. Okay. And, and I think you're right. Next year, we'll have the chair appoint the two people. So you're accepting the friendly, Commissioner O'Neill? No. Or no? I'm fine with the way it is right now. Okay. And could you repeat the way it is right now? Right now, maybe the clerk can help us out. Go ahead. Go ahead. 